if you look across cultures and you, you look at the cultures that have moved most forward with, um, with gender equality provisions at the social and political le levels, and that would be the Scandinavian countries, the, the differences in personality between women, men and women maximize in those countries. And these are tiny studies. These are studies that involve tens of thousands of people and that have been well replicated by a series of independent researchers. And so, with per, with per, if you add the personality differences between men and women across all the personality traits, you can almost perfectly segregate men from women. And that has not, that, that doesn't take into account the obvious things like arm angle and hip width, hip, hip width compared to, to waist width, and shoulder width, and upper body strength, and height, and weight, and the biochemical differences. And, I mean, it's, it's so preposterous that it's, be, it's, it's beyond conception to me that we're actually even discussing it. But I was making a specific claim, which is the law says these four levels of analysis vary independently. 